In the Frebel department, Development Education and Intercultural Education modules, or DICE as we refer to it, is delivered in a number of different ways. There are a range of mandatory modules, as well as an elective in Education for Sustainable Development. The DICE lecturer also collaborates with colleagues to provide an integrated learning experience in subjects such as Visual Art, SPHE, Challenges in Pupil Care and Placement Learning. In class, we use a range of active and experiential methodologies to explore topics such as human rights, interdependence, global inequality, racism, privilege and climate justice. In addition to formal lectures, DICE is very much a part of the ethos of the Frebel Department. Throughout the year, we have numerous guest lectures from diverse backgrounds, as well as off-site visits and workshops with NGOs. In Frebel, DICE is located in the Foundation Disciplines, which means it is taught across various different modules. It helps us to take a conceptual approach when connecting theory to practice. In the Sociology of Education, for example, we have looked at topics like power, privilege and othering, and in particular how they relate to the experiences of minoritised groups such as asylum seekers and Irish travellers. After hearing about such issues in DICE lectures, a group of us decided to take action through various voluntary initiatives. This has included the setting up of a homework club in conjunction with the local traveller partnership. It has also involved the establishment of an ongoing activity camp for the children of asylum seekers in Mosley. For myself and for fellow students, empowerment through action has emerged as a fundamental component of DICE teaching and learning. Moving forward, I think we will all strive to ensure that the principles and values behind global justice issues are visible in our classrooms. Some of the DICE modules have a separate placement component where we go out to a school and teach a lesson on a global issue. This was helpful as it provided a safe space to explore controversial issues with the children. This experience was one of the things that motivated me to take a social justice approach to my class project on the extended placement this year. I looked at action and activism under the project title Changemakers. This focused on people who have enacted social, political or environmental change in their communities. Our curriculum could be considered quite Eurocentric and it often celebrates the success of white European historical figures at the expense of other narratives. As a result, I included the Haitian revolutionary figure Toussaint Louverture in the project as one of the change makers. The children really enjoyed learning about him through an integrated approach in subjects such as drama, English and SBHE. I took a guided discovery approach with my investigation table and this encouraged children to interact with a range of materials and picture books which related to the project. I don't think I would have even attempted a project such as this if we didn't have the space in DICE lectures first to discuss appropriate strategies and approaches. Given the changing demographic in Irish classrooms, I think a teacher should make an effort to diversify resources where possible. Within DICE, there is also a specialised module called Education for Sustainable Development. Within this module, we visited Clockdor and Eco Village in Tipperary. This experience provided an excellent focal point for learning about ecological and sustainable education and also allowed us to learn through immersing ourselves in the community. Because ESD is more about the process, I thought that this was a really appropriate and interesting way of learning. This trip provided us with the space to think about our own habits and also think about how we would approach ESD in our own classroom. Sustainability encompasses a lot of complex issues. For this reason, we thought it was important to look at a variety of creative ways to explore this new type of knowledge with children. We used teddies of endangered species to explore our own complicity in environmental destruction with younger children. We invited a sixth class to the university to collaborate in a creative project to explore climate change, climate justice and climate action. We also sourced a variety of recyclable materials to model sustainability in action. The reason we see the value in these modules is because the children who are going to be in our classrooms are entering into a new global reality. Children will inevitably have many questions about complex global issues and teachers need to have the confidence to have these conversations with their pupils. I think that engaging with global justice issues over the last four years has certainly enhanced our experience of initial teacher education.
That's the old two-stroke engine.